Schmidt. 25 Punkten hatte der Altmeister ganz entscheidenden Anteil am 99 zu 98 Sieg in der Verlängerung über die Boston Celtics. Washington liegt derzeit auf Platz 9 in der Eastern Conference. Karriere. Nastoletni koszykarz został już wstępnie namaszczony przez starego mistrza, gdy ten wręczył mu nagrodę za udany sezon i obejrzał ostatni występ Jamesa w tegorocznych rozgrywkach. Być może historia zatoczy więc koło. Niewykluczone, że Lebron James trafi do Chicago. Grający fatalnie zespół Bulls ma duże szanse wylosować pierwsze... Zurück zur Halbzeit Nummer 2 aus Portland und die Gäste aus Minnesota direkt mit der ersten spektakulären Aktion von Kevin Garnett, dem Mann der ersten Hälfte, vor allem mit einem überragenden ersten Viertel. Und das kann er ja zum Korb ziehen, er ist unglaublich schnell, er ist athletisch, wird noch gefault dabei und geht an die Freiwurflinie für den Bonusfreiwurf. Das ist ein typischer Kevin Garnett, Emotionen pur. Ein leidenschaftlicher Basketballer. Beautiful Basketball. Guards sharing the ball. Great feed from Steve Smith. 20 to 13 Atlanta. Biggest lead tonight for the Hawks. Freewell moves in, drives, dishes. Smith jams it. Oh my God. And a foul. Smith, that's that young talent that we were talking about in the opening. He has that brash, young arrogance, but he can back it up with athleticism. As you take a look at him, take this to Matumbo and say, prove to me you can block this slam dunk. And the quick hitting play of Joe Smith, very difficult to defend against. Freewell starts it, and Joe Smith just cocks it back and finishes it. Back rims the free throw, Matumbo rebound. You know, we're looking at two, well, a current Chicago Bull team and a, te a team that was the Chicago Zephyrs or Packers, right? Oh, the Bullets. They moved Bullets, yeah. Steve Kirk, great move, couldn't quite get it. Rodman fights for the rebound and a foul called. And finally, Dennis picks it up. Number 12, I believe, was on it. Was that the little guy, uh, Chris Whitney? Fans love the hustle, don't they? Yep. Steve comes on through and throws that ball. We've seen him take a running, looping shot, a left-handed, and a hustle by Dennis Rodman, a foul on... First. Duncan, strip. There are so many strips and deflections. Marbury, great move. And Parker's shaken up. He got hit in the head by one of the trailers on the plane. It hurt. Marbury, Marbury broke his ankle, and then he got kicked in the back of the head by Stoudemire. Here's, when he gets a full head of steam, there's nobody in the league going to stop him. Just does a nice cross over there and lays it up. You see Parker there getting get the kicked in the back of the head by Stoudemire. David Benoit not being there has really hurt them because they had eight solid players. Now they're down. Foul situation hurts them more. Borders penetration, another... What made this move so so great was the fact that here he is. He switches hands right in the middle, mid-air, and went to his left hand, and he fooled Mike Brown, who had came over to challenge him. Excellent move by Terry Porter. Michael, and we know he Sabalos. Get it back the way by Randy Brown. Steve Kerr gets it ahead to Randy, and that ought to do it. Yeah, with the left hand, and down he goes. That's got to be a foul. He took him down hard. Now the yeah. official right there, John, didn't make the call. Dick Bavetta did, and the official looks at the Bulls and says, my fault. He said, my fault. I'm sorry. One shot. Nice play. Here it is. Uh, Steve Kerr kicks it out. Now Kidd's going to come to try to block it. Randy goes up and hits, hammers it, and gets knocked down doing it. Nice play by Randy Brown. Steve Kerr taps it out to him. Here he comes. Goes up, dunks it with the left hand, and... Okay, Ronnie Harper, who uh, has two minutes left to go, the second quarter. To the net at three points, by the magic, and it's smashed for Byron Scott. A superb action, and the public of the forum is debout. Jordan Kiba, and he has done very well. He has not tried to throw Byron Scott. He has touched him lightly. 
a slam cam, la caméra a des smash, et c'est un smash. Alors là, c'est étonnant, euh, car la foudre n'avait pas l'air si grave, mais... ...with four points of the first half of play, and two of five shooting from the floor. Bulls set up offensively, Jordan to Pippen at the back door, wide open. First hoop for Scotty Pippen, long time coming, but he just was wide open up in the air. Scotty was 0 for 4 in the first half, kind of hard to miss that one though, isn't it? Alonzo Morning backs Cartwright. Alonzo bumping with Bill and a foul coming up. It's on... Bill Cartwright, his first, first on the team. Take a look at this last hoop. Uh, Michael, again, he looks away, throws it up. That's a tough thing to thread the needle on that pass, Wayne. But, but if you got a guy who can jump out of the gym like Scotty or Michael, I guess it makes it a little easier. Morning, rebound Horace Grant. Well, Michael really, you, you're right, it was a no-look pass that he put right on the money. Pippen running the break. Oh, take Man. that, Alonzo Morning, in your face. I guess Woo, so, Scotty. Wow. Philadelphia, under three minutes to go. Fourth period of play, Chicago Stadium. The world champs on the ropes at the moment. Pippen, what a move. Yes, and a foul. Scotty Pippen, left hand jam over Manute Bowl. He's knocked everything down the middle. This time, Scotty goes down, makes a spin move up with the left hand. Great move by Scotty. Wow. Power slam. 7.6 early. Look at it again. Boy, it does bear watching two or three times. Scotty puts in on the three point play, has 18 in the game. Pressure in the backcourt by the Bulls, who still trail by six in the steal by Trent Tucker. Pippa! Take a look at the Chicago Bulls and the run they put on. Steal by Trent Tucker. Pick the pocket of Ron Anderson. Bulls have made four of their last five, including four in a row. And two power slams by... You really need to have the timing to be effective. A little pressure by Atlanta as Boston brings it up. 23-20 is our score. Parrish right down the middle, jams it over Rollins. Well, those are the two players that Mike Fratello wanted to have handle the ball, Mikhail and Parrish, and they ran it like two little guys that time. Let's watch the two big men running the break like little guys. There's the double team on Ainge. Now Parrish has got it. He's got Tree Rollins. Good passing. Right back. No dribbling. Take it to the basket. That's the way to run the break. The ball to Ori. Comes underneath. Puts it up. Didn't make the layup. The rebound is out. Lottie got another rebound. His 17th. The ball given to Mason. Mason underneath. Slam dunk. Time out, Los Angeles. Listen to this crowd. Four minutes, five seconds left to play as the Hornets are on a 10 to nothing run. They've cut the gap to 91-89 on the Lakers basketball network. über die Phoenix Sun spricht, das ist somit der erste Gedanke, der Kopf ist offensiver. Und das ist das Stichwort für Karl Malone. Auch der mittlerweile 37 Jahre alt und das ist schon erstaunlich, wie schnell der nach vorne ist. Und der Rebound von Marshall Starks. Auf Malone und der Block von Sean Marion. Aus dem Mix taucht er auf, räumt den Milman ab und Tom Guglietto trifft vorne. Die Basketballer sprechen noch immer von einem sogenannten Vier-Punkte-Turnaround. Gegen Zakaridis, hier haben wir die Szene nochmals. Lupen rein, der Block von Sean Marion gegen Karl Malone. Und dann auf der Gegenseite die Punkte für die Suns durch Tom Gugliotta und Beifall von Scott Skiles. Stacey King doing more than holding his own. Hip and oh, yeah. Hang it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Highlight film all the way. Six for Stacey King, but oh, what a feed from Scotty Pippen. On uh, Stacey King. Or is it? No, they're... Legal. Illegal defense, apparently, on the Bulls. 
6.24 left. And then here they are coming down on the court real quick. And Michael up, under, and around Carl Malone. You normally see Michael jamming a ball home, but that time he went hard to the hoop on one side and laid it up in the other. Shooter, Scotty Pippen down with the ball over to Michael Jordan. Is Will around? Where is Will? There he is. I found him. And Will was up getting... Pippen. Walker. Tucker. Wow. Oh. Talk about an exclamation point to end the first period of play. And the lead for contest. I believe this guy would get standing tense from everybody. Watch Scotty Pippen finish this up at the end of the first quarter. Wow. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if you have it. You have that? And here's tonight's AT&T long distance shot. Dial it up. Mahmoud Abdul Rauf goes one on one with Hurley and he could go inside but instead decides to go long distance after the many fakes. Nothing but net and that's the long distance shot brought to you by team to Nick Anderson who throws it down in Alonzo's face and gets the call. Part of a 13-3 run that gave the Magic a five point lead. They now trail by Open and then throws it over to Kersey. Blocked by Elijah Wong. Again, Cycli again waited after catching. He should have taken the shot. Casale scores and he's fouled. The Rockets are great in November and they're great in June. Casale doing a lot of talking with Chris Gatling after scoring. He went right over to Gatling and got into his ear. In retrospect, that's a pretty good pass from Cycli. Kersey just couldn't get it off the floor. Here's some wizardry. Again, I say Cassell is uncanny with his ability to score inside when he's seemingly surrounded by the defense. Edelman's going to stop it again. Timeout, Rockets. They have a lead of 13 now, which is 617 to play in Houston. And the Nets now lead at 71-69. And again, that's inexcusable. That's inexcusable to give up a transition basket after a foul. So the foul was on uh, Walker, his fourth. Here is Pierce. Pierce going into Blunt. Bounded away by Kenyon Martin with 10 on the shot clock and a minute remaining. Even though Kenyon Martin had, has not had his best statistical night, he's an energy and an effort player. They're taking the lob from Lucius Harris and then coming over with great weak side help and erasing a sure two by Mark Blount. Kenyon Martin, as much as kid, is the pulse of the New Jersey Nets because of his athleticism, energy, and commitment to defense. Nearly a minute gone by in the extra session. Here's Pierce. Baseline against Pitt, and the Celtics lead by 94-93, and a foul, and a chance for the three-point play. A great spin move off Jason Kidd's forearm. He feels the pressure. Pierce does it, spins off of him, and finishes with a great dunk and creates a three-point play opportunity. Out to Newbill, back to Scott. Scott down the middle, Scott all the way, puts it up and it's sent back out of bounds by the big man Shaq. Listen. Oh boy, I tell you something. Shaq blocked that shot, Chick, so hard. It almost put a hole in the floor, and John Barry hit the floor, and he almost put a hole in the floor. <laughs> big fly swat. Shaq is telling uh, Barry now, you must have cable. You must know that I can do that. I'll say. 
All right, what do we got? Uh, the ball will be out of bounds to Atlanta with 12 seconds left on the 24. Out of the game goes Barry. He's tried in the whole game. Average 15 points a game last year. The ball into Shaq. Down the middle of Sabalas. Can he make three in a row? Gives to Shaq, and Shaq is... The shot is blocked. The shot is blocked by Leitner. Well, you don't see this happen very often. That's someone blocking a dunk attempt, so to speak, by Shaquille O'Neal. But uh, Dikembe Mutombo goes up, and I mean he gets it. They didn't call a foul, so it must be a legal play. He has two blocks in the ball game. He became oh. the first player ever last season to lead the NBA in blocks for three straight years. The Lakers into was required in the deal involving Drew Good. And that means any foul trouble to Ilgowskis tonight can spell doom for Cleveland. Oh, nice play. It counts. And the foul. Shaq headed to the line. Harvey, see Eric Snow right now coming over to the rookie Verjean saying, look, You've got to come over and help earlier. You see how easily Shaq gets the ball. Verjon just now getting into the picture. He's got to be aware. Shaquille O'Neal is the main threat on this floor. When you're away from the ball, you've got to be under the hoop as a big man anticipating that pass. And track the trail and try to front him, Steve, right in front of the rim. And what Shaq did is created more space. Oh, he has 14 now, make it 15 rebounds. People wondered how they would recover from Carlos Boozer. I don't know if they have offensively, but defensively and rebounding, I think Gooden can be better. You know, he was in the doghouse in Memphis and Orlando before. I don't know if it was that something. That was sleight of hand. I mean... Steve Nash stirs the crowd with a remarkable play. Guinness might have a concussion now. <laughs> 54 or 51. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> That's right. Broke his ankles or something. I don't know. Here is James Dow trying to go inside. Shut up. And he's going to travel. It was good help defense by Joe Johnson. Let's go back to Nash's play. A little shake, anyone? <laughs> oh, ooh, and look at James. He just stood. Oh, man. I tell you what, uh, that would break your ankles trying to stay with him as Nash goes inside, draws a foul. It's a little too crisp. Critical time in the ballgame for the Grizzlies. Five and a half to go. The lead is ten. Maxwell to the basket. Oh, he did not do that, did he? Yeah, and he had yeah, nothing worse than a guy who makes a circus shot that has a little look at you as he runs down the court when you're sitting on the bench. Better Mad than Max. Than yeah, Mad Max. Can you believe he just did what he did? High in the air, and then the scoop shot, the pump. He had it all there. Yeah, taking it right at country, too. Up under country, little English off the window to give the spin, and then the turnaround, little glance over the bench. You guys believe I did that? Make me call timeout, he's saying. Call timeout, call timeout, because I'm taking it at you. Look at that. Ooh, a little English. Barnum and Bailey may start sponsoring this team. Oh, man, when a guy does that and then give, and he gives you the look, you just want to tackle him as he's running by you. 15 seconds scored by Philadelphia. They double team on Magic and trap him at the 10-second line. The ball to Green at the three-point line is worthy. Under to Kareem was alone. He puts it up and he has fouled. Barkley blocks the ball cleanly and he says to the referee, what are you calling? And the referee says, I'm just my first year in the league. I thought it was a foul. Oh. I don't think it was anywhere near a foul. Neither do I. And Kareem attacked, but there was Barkley to get oh. nothing but basketball. That's a shame to rob a player of a great play like that. Spin move inside, spin dishes. Hunter, seeing his first action, comes up with the field goal. Another of the players. The assistants, the assistants look like they're playing with a lot of pressure. They're at home. They're having a difficult time scoring the basketball. And Orlando sees Kip. That's his second jump along the baseline. They look like they're losing on Kip. Doing an excellent job. Nice spin move here. Looks like the old Rain Man. Nice little dish underneath the arm to Stephen Hunter who puts it down and puts that little jump hook over the top of Ben Wallace. And that's what I'm talking about. So you look at Hunter, he's a rookie. And he's had, again, Sean Kim stepping out. That's his second baseline jump that he hits about 17, 18 feet. The magic just looks a lot looser. And Russell, here for come von Hornacek. Gutes Passspiel by the Mavericks. Oh! Ein Glückstreffer für die Mavericks. Also, wenn's mal richtig.
Ja, geben Sie das Ding nochmals her. Aber wir gehen nochmal auf die andere Seite zurück. Also, zuletzt am Ball nicht Sean Bradley, sondern er hier. The Hornets so scary. Be Diddy right here with the three. Well, you hit it right on the head when you say scary. This basketball team has as potent a one-two punch as there is in the league. Baron Davis. Oh, please, goodness gracious. Make that a post. You had to take his headband off on that one. Here's Davis. Oh, boy. That's your family. That's on your family. BD, don't be so mean. Oh. Looks better each time we see it. He's just backing up some rebounds. Eight already to go with his seven points. Nice pass to Hasbro. Oh, Udonis Haslam, who uh, looks much more like Adonis than he did during his Florida days. He's lost about 40 pounds from the days that he started with the Gators. Oh, and then, hey, that hurts, man. Look at this. Come get some. Come get it. <laughs> Haslam picked up the last foul, guys. He bent. As we come inside of five minutes here before halftime. How many times do you see a zone where like the shortest guy in the back line in the middle? And Miami is living on that baseline move. Haslam with the dunk and the foul. They live on. Ninth turnover on New Orleans in this first half. Odom started well, but he's done very little in this second quarter. Wade on the dribble, trying for the slam dunk. There's the Wade we know. Took Baron Davis off the dribble and dunked the ball. Four straight points for the Heat. Wade has six points, four rebounds. Back to defense on Davis. Side cleared out for the Baron. And a reach-in foul on Dwayne Wade. Oh, Wade picks up his second foul. Watch this move by Dwayne Wade as he takes uh, Baron Davis off the dribble. There he is, a little fake, goes by him with the left dribble, and then has enough lift that he can get in there, even though he left his feet a little early, still gets in the dunk. Well, you guys, Larry Brown said that at halftime that Allen Iverson really willed the team even to be in the first half. And I was talking to the team doctor, Dr. Jack McPhillamy, and he told me a story about Allen Iverson when Larry Brown first came to the team. They did a, a test for, to run the mile. Allen Iverson ran the mile in four minutes and 42 seconds. The closest teammate behind him was a lap and a half behind him. He said the whole staff was in shock. And it just goes to show the athleticism and determination of this guy, Allen Iverson. As a high school quarterback, he was one of the best that the college scouts ever watched. They honestly thought, several of them did, he was better than Michael Vick in high school. Grew up in approximately the same area. He's got a move of it five. Here comes Iverson. He's got it on Davis. Picks up his dribble. Comes in the air. Firing. Yes. Off the glass. With 10 seconds. Allen Iverson has done it. We're sitting on a two-possession game right now. And it's running out on the New Orleans Hornets as Allen Iverson with 43 points here tonight. Shows you why he belongs on the Olympic team. And, of course, he's been at it. One of the great gutty performances by Allen Iverson here tonight. Take a look at him. Under enormous pressure from Baron Davis. Philadelphia has scored the last seven points of this game. Five of them by Allen Iverson. And let's also have a big tip of the hat to Keith Van Horn. Keith Van Horn tonight has had 18 rebounds. Several huge boards here in the fourth quarter. Schönes Give and Go zwischen Shaquille O'Neal und Eddie Jones, der schließt Spektak zu diesem Zeitpunkt. Noch einmal Give and Go aus dem Lehrbuch Shaq und Eddie Jones. Also immer noch ein beruhigender Vorsprung im dritten Viertel für die Lakers. Randy Brown mit zwei Punkten für die Bulls. Es hat so dahin geplätschert im dritten Viertel, diese Partie. Die Bulls ohne große Anstrengungen hier noch gewinnen zu wollen, so hat man den Eindruck, in der Defense. Das 
Trzy zbiórki zespołu Chicago, wszystkie trzy dla Rodmana. Pippen, dwa punkty jeszcze faulowany przez Dereka Stronga. Kapitalne kontrataki. Ta umiejętność rozpoczęcia pierwszej równiej trafiał do kosza, chociaż tak jak powiedziałeś, numer jeden to Cycli. Nawet tak szczęśliwie kończył swoje akcje. Cycli w tej drugiej kwarcie, której oglądamy już ostatnie sekundy, zdobył 18 punktów. W sumie 19 punktów w pierwszej kwarcie. 8 zbiórek na 11 rzutów, 8 celnych. Bardzo dobra skuteczność. Ronek... Jeszcze noch mit dabei Theo Radliff. Hat er zu lange gepackt? Nee. Theo Radliff nicht. Also Hill oder aber Todd McCullough. Jason Williams. Ich darf das mal, wie die Amerikaner machen. He's on fire. Und jetzt geht er ab. Wieder Williams. Nee. Doch! Doch! Jason Williams. Und so schnell sind es elf Punkte. Nicht anfassen. Verbrennungsgefahr. Jason Williams. So heißt es der. Da ist er wieder. Was kommt jetzt? Anderson. Und jetzt hat er auch. Jetzt haben sie einen Lauf, die Sacramento Kings. Und jetzt müssen die 76ers, jetzt muss er hier aufpassen, Larry Brown. Sonst reißt der Faden hier ab. Standing Ovations in der Arco Arena. Mitgemacht mit dem neuen und alten Trainer, mit Larry Brown, der sich für weitere fünf Jahre an die Philadelphia 76ers gebunden hat. Wir schauen uns noch einmal ein paar spektakuläre Aktionen von Jason Williams an, der vor allem von der Dreierlinie heute eine exzellente Quote aufweist. Nicht so ganz typisch für ihn. Ja, und dann haben wir äh, vorhin auch noch erfahren, dass es Pat Croce äh, gesundheitlich äh, hatte eine Beinverletzung, wieder gut geht. Er kann noch nicht wieder, ich weiß jetzt nicht, was der Boogie Woogie... just because Jason's difficult it's just that he's a young player and he has you know a, a jump shot from 25 feet in 100 miles an hour layup you know I mean he had he has I we always talk about having a million dollar move and a, and a dollar shot you know, when he gets there because he doesn't take his time to, to finish it yeah that's why Rick Edelman over these Herrn here Jason Williams, das was ich auch schon einige Male angesprochen habe, er überdreht einfach manchmal, dann haut er die Dinger da aus Entfernungen drauf und aus Situationen, das ist unglaublich, dann rennt er mit Volldampf zum... Francis ist geblockt vom stehenden Patrick Jürgen, hoffen auf die Zukunft, Steve Francis ist sicherlich ein Hoffnungsträger, da gibt es überhaupt nichts dran zu deuteln, Coutinho Mobley hat Potenzial, Carlos Rogers hat Potenzial, hier nochmal der Block von Ewing gegen Francis. Na początek Isaac Austin przeciwko graczom Chicago. Atak rezerwowych Bulls. Brown i Bischler. Randy Brown with his head up spotting Judge Bushler running the lane very well. Judge Bushler getting rewarded. Der gescheitert und daran wird er auch immer noch gemessen. Der Coach für die Goldpisten. Schöne Aktion jetzt hier von Lindsay Hunter. Und er bewegt sich ja doch noch sehr clever verteidigt von Luki Blaylock. Macht quasi seinen Fehler wieder wett hier, verliert den Ball gegen Lindsay Hunter. Und dann im Gegenzug. Die Injuries, the loss of Magic Johnson, worn out last night by Seattle. In the forum, Sean Kemp. Point lead, and Longley over the top defending, and Matumbo gets the basket and foul. The Bulls wanted a traveling violation, but Matumbo will have a chance for a three-point play. The personal foul is on Caffey, two on Jason Caffey. Now at this end, keep an eye on Matumbo. Now this is going on its way up. Matumbo makes a clean block. 